Welcome guys, I'm here today with the long range distance test on the SUV Vestar City. Uh, I'm here at Manly, it's Good Friday, it's totally packed. I'm not supposed to ride in this pathway but we'll give it a go. Uh, I've got a treat for you guys um, in about a minute on the screen, it'll come up just above uh, here, uh, on this side here, which will show you um, a little bonus thing, uh, so stay tuned for that. So let's head off on the long range uh, distance test on the Vestar City SUV and we'll check it out now. Okay. I'm only gonna be going slow for today's purposes. Guys, I'm gonna be actually just going in medium speed um, and on flat terrain the whole way pretty much. So I'll uh, give you the best scenario you can get possibly. So I'm just going to dodge a few people here. Right. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do uh, in a minute above the screen here will be a uh, banner um, which will take you to a 360 degree um, video. Um, just going to negotiate a few people here. Okay, so. Um, what we're doing now is just talking a little bit about this SUV. I've been riding it now for about oh, three weeks. It's an exceptionally good board. Um, and I think it's something that it's really blown my mind, to be honest. Uh, it's just beautiful. Um, and I think it's one of the things that has changed the dynamics of electric skateboard riding with this uh, PU tires. Uh, they are, I'll talk about those in more detail in a moment. Um, so I'm just taking you through this little spot here to show you how beautiful this location is. Um, yeah, so these PU wheels um, are, are pretty impressive. They really are. And um, one of the most amazing feels I've ever had on a, uh, on a board. And it's actually one of the most beautiful Rolls-Royce, oh, the, the Rolls-Royce. Hey, this guy, say hello to YouTube, man. Say hello to YouTube. Be happy, it's Easter, come on. And um, yeah, there's there's always a there's always one there's always one 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 grump will always cause a problem uh, for stuff like this. So have a look around here, and uh, <laughs> I love that. You had a go at me before, so you can't ride skateboards around here. So, I mean, what a joke. So I mean, I'm trying to showcase the city. Hey, you girls, hey, they're on YouTube. Um, okay, so. Uh, Pneumatic air tyres are going to be a thing of the past and years to come. Um, so this is just an amazing feel and it just is a beautiful ride. And you know, it's like riding on butter pretty much. Uh, it's like riding on butter. It, it's nothing I can explain. There's no flex on the wall, the tyres, there's nothing. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do a whole video on these wheels and I'll talk a bit about them in more detail. But uh, those of you arguing that 40 pounds of pressure actually is um, uh, is better, well I'd, I'd question that. I'd question that completely because I don't think that's the case at all. I feel every bump on my 40 pounds of pressure on my um, pneumatic trampers uh, on 40 pounds, I feel everything. But look, I'll go to the gutter here now, you'll feel this like nothing. It's just, it's like butter. <laughs> it's just incredible. So we're heading around to Manly, that was Manly Harbour, and then we're heading around to Manly Cove, uh, where I'll take you up to Manly Little Manly Beach, and uh, this will probably take about 10 minutes or so. As I said, I'm doing a really slow cruise today. I'm not trying to really um, do anything too radical. I want to get a really good result on this long range. The estimated range is between 18, 16 and 18 kilometer range. Uh, I think with my weight, 92 kilos, I'll probably get um, in between that. Now I have had a few goes on this before, and um, I have actually got that range uh, in real world scenario. So we're just coming around here now to um, the Manly Beach. Yeah, so. Along the beach. Um, now in terms of, um, I'll go in more detail these PU tires later, but that's just the example. Uh, on heavy uh, brickwork here, can't hear a thing, can't feel a thing at all. It's uh, absolutely beautiful. Okay, next thing I want to talk about, guys, is the battery levels on these skateboards, okay? Okay, welcome back to the 360 degree view of this uh, video today on YouTube. Uh, here I am down, it's a lousy day down here. If you're watching this on the 360 degree 
uh, touch uh, iPad, iPhone, uh, you're watching it now in 360 degree. Um, you can come back to the video in a few minutes and you can check out the, um, the normal video by just going back in the 12 minute mark on this. Uh, we just ride around here in Manly and take you around the back of Manly here. Okay, so um, let's talk a little bit about, uh, let's talk, look, talk a little bit about these uh, PU wheels. There's been a lot of talk about, are they any good? Well, I'll tell you now, the Rolls-Royce Phantom, the, the best car in the world, released last week with a silver back, has got these um, honeycomb wheels, uh, in a sense, in them. They've got foam and they've got silicon-filled tyres, no more pneumatic air, so you're no longer having uh, air and tyres. This is the future, guys, so you don't need it. You really don't need air and tyres. It's a lot more... Um, um, uh, a lot more uh, forgiving. So these PU tyres bounce over everything. They feel like basically you're riding on butter. It's just, it's insane. Here I'm on brickwork now. I can't even feel anything. You can see down, if you're watching this in 360 degree, you can see down below. Uh, it's just insane. I just, I can't feel a thing. Now I've got a pneumatic tyre on my Tramper, uh, DuPont and alloy rims, and uh, sorry, is that a picture there? Uh, DuPont alloy rims and they do not perform as well. 40 pounds of pressure, I feel everything along here. These honeycomb PUs, I don't feel one single thing. Uh, it is the future of um, the wheels for electric skateboards and um, it's going to be just, it's just going to be, it's going to take over. There's no question about that. Um, so uh, yeah, they're just beautiful to ride, forgiving. Um, and so far we've been riding for about two kilometers. I've still got uh, full battery. Um, so we're looking pretty good here. Um, I'm now going to take you in the back of the skiff club here. Those of you watching in 360 degree, enjoy this. Uh, come back to the video in a minute. You'll see the rest of the long range distance test. Um, it's just going to be a really nice ride today. It's not hot. It's autumn in Sydney, 24 degrees. It's pretty warm um, still for this time of year. And this is where uh, um, you're coming across boardwalk here now. You can see if you're looking, look at that can't even feel a thing. Normally on this, it's out of control. You, the torque on this thing is just insane, absolutely insane. It's just a beautiful ride. And uh, we're gonna leave Manly now. We'll head up to, um, we'll head up to the top of the here to Manly Point. Um, now look, just getting back to uh, the battery levels. Now on these electric skateboards out of China, the battery levels are a bit confusing. When you have three lights, doesn't it means full power. There's no doubt about that. When you have two lights, it doesn't mean 66%, it actually means 50%. And when you have one bar left, it's less than 20%. And this is the fallacy and the problem with uh, uh, these actual um, battery lights. I'm going at a pretty steep hill, if you can see now in the 360. Uh, this is down the Manly Cove. Uh, the regenerative braking might work. I'm up to full battery now again. It's a pretty good regenerative battery on this Vestar SUV. It does charge beautifully. Um, we've got a big hill at the other end to take you up. Um, and then I'll probably sign off on this 360 degree video because um, um, I want to uh, conserve as much memory as I can for this upload on the 360. So yeah, when you get down to one bar, it's 20%. So that's how these batteries work. They work on a system of, I've got two cameras, so I'm trying to get myself in video all the time, sorry. Uh, yeah, so when you've got uh, one bar, you're down to 20% battery. So that's where you've got to be careful. This particular Vestar board has a very accurate LG battery system that dies uh, accurately and, and uh, predictable. So I'll talk about that in a second. It's really nice. So here we're coming down now to Little Man. This is the old gas works, uh, really beautiful. Um, and um, it's a place I come a little bit down here. Um, beautiful setup. So we'll just go around down here. Um, sorry. Yes. Know how much you actually got to go. This, these honeycomb wheels go over everything, just insane. Uh, okay, so um, we're gonna sign off down here, guys, on this 360, but I want you to know that I'll jump you back in, get, come back to the video, and you'll see the actual, um, uh, the other video. Uh, there we go. The other video, uh, sorry, uh, picking up from where this left off, where we talk a little bit about the range on this thing in more detail. Uh, so we'll see how we're going on that. Yeah, we're coming down here now, I'll sign off for you guys on the 360, and then we'll come back uh, into the video, jump back about the 12 minute mark, and you'll pick up where we were.
uh, on this particular thing. So, oh, it's still got some bite. Uh, so here we have Little Manly uh, Cove. It's a beautiful spot here. Um, so I think what I'll do now, guys, is I'll sign off now. On okay, so, so far we've ridden for about um, 15, uh, 20 minutes. Um, and I'm still down to full battery power. Uh, probably riding for about maybe four kilometers. But like I said, uh, these things um, stay on high, three, three lights for a long time, because when they get down to two lights, they're 50%. I'll just flip around here and show you some of the view. I got my... Uh, Head up now to um, to uh, little little Shelley Beach, which is a really beautiful spot. Um, and make sure I'm recording. Yep, uh, Shelley Beach is a, a gorgeous little ride back to Manly. I'm going to keep reasonably close to the car because I want to make sure that I'm actually close to where I need to. If I run out of battery, you know what I mean. I just hit some massive bricks there. Didn't feel a thing. These wheels, uh, honeycomb wheels. Uh, as you can see, uh, just insane. So we'll head up now to Manly, uh, Sh Manly and Shelley by Shelley Beach, which is really pretty and beautiful. Uh, and so, so you know, so far so good. Uh, very, Im very impressive um, on this particular. There's a lot of hills around here. I'm still going on medium speed, but I do click it up to high speed for the hills, like gearing. You just involve talk about that as well. It's a pretty steep hill here. We'll see how these brakes go. Um, yeah, they're running beautifully. Okay, I'll just turn the camera around so you can see a bit of this view. There we go. Uh, we're going to take this hill here, which you can see is pretty steep. So we'll give this a go up here. This would be about a 24% grade. Uh, maybe 20, yeah, 23, 24. Now I'm going full acceleration up here, uh, which is fine because um, it's got these grippy PU wheels that really do uh, add a bit of resistance to the actual um, the board. I would recommend with these wheels getting the 9.6 amp hour battery. Now Frank Wong has now got these um, on his channel and you can order the bigger battery. I think with these wheels, see behind how steep that hill was, I think they are definitely uh, worthy, the bigger battery for these wheels because they add a little bit more resistance um, to the actual uh, to the to the to, the, to the, the range, so I think that's and also the speed. But uh, the ten, roughly nearly ten amp hour battery will do a great job. Uh, we're down to a sort of um, after that hill one bar, uh, one light. But I think you'll find that will probably uh, go back to two. There's a bit of voltage sag in that, obviously. Uh, I'm travelling a pretty steep uphill all the way to the top of the lookout up here at Manly, so it's a fair way. I'm going to come back, guys, in a little bit uh, and talk to you about where I am. So far, riding about an hour, uh, probably about seven kilometre range. Um, so we'll come back in a little while. Right, I'm coming down now into Shelley Beach. It's a beautiful little spot. Uh, I'll give you guys a bird's eye view of this. Ah, uh, there we go. It's just spectacular. If you ever come to Sydney, you've really got to check out this spot. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, look at that. Just superb. Wow, look at that. Beautiful. There we go. A little restaurant there. And, um... Just beautiful, look at that. This is autumn in Sydney, uh, and not the world's greatest day, but look at that, just beautiful. There you go, that's Sydney in Australia, guys. Pretty impressive. I love this uh, Vesta board, I can dodge people quite well. Uh, and um, yeah, these corrugations are massive in the ground, but they're about an inch, but I'm not feeling a thing on this board. Uh, it's just unbelievable. Like, I don't know, I just, I just can't believe there's Shelly Beach. You can see in the distance. We're leaving, that's the bower. There's some surf today out there. Uh, pretty impressive. So a bit of negotiation here again.
Look at that water. Seriously, look at that. Oh. That is absolutely beautiful. So that's uh, Manly for you guys. There's a little restaurant along here. I might just uh, pull up here and see how that's going with the... Wow, okay. So there we have it, guys. That's, uh, that's the Manly for sure. Look at that, beautiful. Okay, checking in now at the 11 kilometre range mark. Look at the ocean today, beautiful. Good surf. Good. Look, at the, look at the waves out there. I'm going for a surf later on, on that uh, new Jamie O'Brien log. Okay, so 11 kilometres, about an hour riding. Uh, still got, uh, well, one bar now, actually, which is interesting. So at one bar, I can tell you now, uh, I usually at one bar have... Um, about six kilometers okay which is a lot a lot now the reason it goes so well with six kilometers goes so what six kilometers is because um uh it just seems to drain beautifully slow this um particular uh battery setup it just drains beautifully so uh we'll have a look at that now um and see if i get six kilometers from here based on one solid light Okay, so we'll check that out. I'll just cross over here, if I can, into the Corso. Through here. Okay, we're heading down to the Manly Beach now. So if I'm gonna, my calculations are correct, I should get six kilometers on medium speed, which I'm on now, to get uh, to a one bar flashing. And when it gets one bar flashing, you've got about two kilometers which is really, really impressive. So, it's a really rough driveway that. You can see back there what that was. Okay, so I'm basically at one bar on medium. A flat out speed is around about probably 15 kilometers per hour. But I want to get back to the car before I run out of battery. I don't want to carry a 10 kilo expensive piece of wood back to the car. Um, so, so far I've been running for an hour and 10 minutes, about 14 kilometer range. Wow, look at that, just beautifully in there, around that, back there. Um, so I'm getting gonna get close to 16, I reckon, possibly. So it's not flashing yet, one bar's still solid, which is really good. And we'll go back down the foreshore here now and we'll check out what I can get on this full battery. I'll come back in a sec. police don't really give you a hard time they're pretty good uh, you can see from behind we've come and then forward in here Coming up now to 13 kilometer range, nearly 14. Uh, as you can see, just beautiful. Okay, we're back again now. We're at the 15 kilometer range, um, and uh, so far, so good. I think we'll reach 16 easily. Okay, here we are now at nearly 15 kilometers, and it's flashing. 
I think I've only got probably about a kilometre to go. I'm nearly at the car. This is a good result, really good result for this. That's it, I think we're just about dead and let's have a look. I'll just take the last little hill here so you can see what it does. So I think this will pretty much take it out. We're struggling up here, we've still got one flashing bar. One flashing bar, can we get up this hill which is about 15 degrees to the car? I don't want to walk, thank you very much. Oh, the last part may be a bit more steep here. It's probably about 18 degrees here. Oh, geez, that's rough. But I don't feel a thing on this board. It's insane. There we go. And I think we're going to die, are we? It's still going. It's still got power. They're just about... Ah, made it. There we go. Oh, my God. Empty. Well, probably another 150 metres, but that would be it. Okay. So I'll come back now with voiceover and talk about um, how far it went, but it's about 16 kilometer range on a lot of hills you saw. Uh, pretty um, undulating, so it wasn't dead flat, and 92 kilo rider. So uh, yeah, SUV, Vestar City, wow. What an incredible piece of electric skateboard this is. Uh, really impressive. Um, but I would go for the uh, 9.6 hour battery if you can, because that will give you that extra uh, on the grippy, uh, tacky, sticky wheels, uh, these PU wheels, which work beautifully, but they will give you uh, service a lot better with a 10 amp hour battery. Uh, yeah, okay. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you now with a talk and the review of the stats. Okay, guys, welcome back. Uh, here's just some analytics now of this and have a chat about it. Uh, that's the actual route I went on. You can see it's uh, quite a decent ride. Um, look, let me just say first of all, this board I've been riding for three weeks and this SUV City um, Vesta All-Terrain Honeycomb is absolutely incredible. I'm loving it. It's one of the nicest um, boards I've ridden for a while. I'm preferring it over my Evolve um, uh, Carbon and my Evolve uh, One Limited Edition with Tramper Pneumatics and I've looked at the analytics now of this. Um, you know, I'm liking it much more because it just goes over everything. It's like butter. Mm -hmm. This is an extremely good buy, even for $929. I think you get a discount for my subscriber at $200. It's an exceptional buy. It's still cheaper than Evolve. And in my opinion, it's actually a better ride than the Evolve, even with those double trucks on the Evolve. Um, it's just beautiful. There we go, 14 kilometer range, 14.7, so nearly 15 kilometers. <laughs> we'll go to the elevation. Uh, you got some pretty big hills there, 25 meters. There wasn't dead flat, see, so... If you actually did uh, do a dead flat, you probably get a lot better range than this speed. Um, up there around 26, 27, you had to dodge a lot of people, so that makes sense there. Average speed, I sort of wasn't really 17, it was more like 24, I was feeling it. Um, yeah, it's a beautiful board. You know, this board is one of the most um, pleasant surprises and value for money out there. It's just a really, Evolve killer. It's really got everything that you could wish for. And now with the new, um, you know, adjustable brakes on the remote, and uh, now with having um, your, uh, you know, your adjustable motor mounts, uh, the lights built in the bottom are just fantastic. Look at that, just beautiful. Fifty minutes, fourteen point seven range. Uh, that's on the six point um, zero amp hour. I would strongly recommend getting those tires. There do definitely. Uh, tacky sticky grippy and they do add resistance to the battery and the speed so you're still getting you're like an evolve 37 kilometers per hour on this thing uh range wise on this 6.0 which is half the size of my evolve one i'm getting what 16 15 kilometer range i'm only getting 20 on the evolve so it's pretty impressive one thing i like about this board uh is the lg batteries are um, totally reliable and you can predict exactly from one bar to one bar flashing with two kilometers range and one bar you'll get six kilometers you can just time it perfectly get home safe without carrying this thing it's just such a reliable uh, discharge on that battery it's just one of the best I've seen but I would opt for the 10 or the 9.6 I think amp hour battery is a bit more money but I would recommend that let's, let's have a look at the actual route I'll uh, we'll have a look at that now 
there we go. Um, yeah, so uh, quite a decent ride today. You know, it was Easter Friday, a lot of people around um, crazy trying to dodge. But this rating today, I'm going to give this a 9.8 out of 10 stars because this is the exceptional result for a 6 amp hour battery on the weight of 10 kilos. Uh, it's my go-to board at the moment. There's me zigzagging at the end near the car. And I can thoroughly recommend this board. So thanks for watching today's um, you know, SUV City Long Range Distance Test. And I'll see you in the next video, guys. This is an exceptional result. Congratulations to Vestar Board. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. That's Andrew Penman signing off. Thank you.